Car 54, Where Are You? was a television sitcom that ran for several years in the early 60s. Although the show is considered a cult classic nowadays and was ahead of its time in many respects, it had a hard time finding an audience during its initial airing. Join Facts First as it's finally clear why Car 54, Where Are You? got cancelled. When it comes to cult classic comedies from the early 60s, there are a few things that spring to mind, quite like the television program Car 54, Where Are You? The show premiered on NBC in 1961, though it lasted only until 63 before the network pulled the plug. Despite this, the show was somewhat revolutionary for its time and went on to develop a following via reruns. Car 54 was unique in many respects, and one of those things about the show was its plot. It was a sitcom that wasn't all that much different from contemporary sitcoms in tone, but where Car 54 differed from its contemporaries was in the fact that the sitcom centered on police officers. The plot of the show revolved around a group of police officers working for a fictional precinct in the Bronx. The show's theme song was instantly memorable and stuck in the ear of anyone who heard it. Meanwhile, many of the performers on the series would go on to be known for other and more popular things later on, which meant that audiences had a fun time picking these stars out once Car 54 aired via syndication. The two leads on Car 54 were named Gunther Tootie and Francis Muldoon, and they were two officers of the fictional precinct that served as the show's focus. Gunther Tootie was played by Joe E. Ross, and Francis Muldoon was played by Fred Gwynn. The show depicted these two characters doing their best to fulfill their duty to the people of New York, but their bumbling nature made it so they had a hard time. Car 54 Where Are You featured a great comedic duo. Gunther and Francis made a perfect comedic duo. One was tall and skinny, and the other was short and fat. Of course, this may have reminded people of Abbott and Costello. Besides this interesting comic pairing, much of the comedy on the show was derived from typical sitcom situations. Much of the comedy came from Captain Block, who was the leader of the show's fictional precinct. Captain Block was always getting enraged at Gunther and Francis' lack of ability on the force. A spiritual sequel to The Phil Silvers Show Car 54 Where Are You was created by Nat Hyken, who had previously created an incredibly successful sitcom called The Phil Silver Show. That show came on the air in 1955 and lasted four seasons. It popularized the character of Sergeant Bilko, who was portrayed by its titular star. In many ways, Car 54 was a tonal sequel to The Phil Silver Show. That show centered on the mishaps of the denizens of an army camp. Of course, much of the comedy came from uninformed authority figures not acting the way audiences would expect. And the same thing could be said of Car 54. Besides the fact that Car 54 carried over the same tone, a similar concept, and the same creator as The Phil Silver Show, the new sitcom also utilized many of the show's talented cast. Joe E. Ross, who played Gunther Tootie, played the character of Mess Sergeant Rupert Ritzick on The Phil Silver Show. Ross had become known to audiences for the use of his trademark expression, which went ooh, ooh, ooh. Joe carried over this trademark to Car 54. Another connection between the shows is the fact that Joe's on-screen wife was played by the same actress. That was, of course, Beatrice Pons. Fred Gwynn had also been a notable player on The Phil Silver Show. Sadly, the prestige of Car 54 wasn't enough to keep it on the air. Before we tell you more about it, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Gunther and Francis were the best of friends. While Gunther Tootie and Francis Muldoon made a perfect comedic pairing on the show, the characters also developed a great friendship over the course of the series. While the Phil Silver show had been the bigger hit, it's arguably the loving relationship between Gunther Tootie and Francis Muldoon that helps Car 54 strike a chord with audiences nowadays. One of the ways the creative staff of the show made Gunther and Francis more relatable to audiences was to showcase plenty of what the two characters did outside the force. They were just as close during their off hours as they were on the job, and some of the series' most memorable episodes had little to do with the pair's police work. Gunther Tootie was happily married on Car 54, and Francis was a bachelor who had yet to find love. As a result of this, Gunther could often be seen going out of his way to include bachelor Francis in his and his wife's social plans. This generally came much to the chagrin of Gunther's wife. Car 54 had a great ensemble cast. Some of the many talented performers who could be seen on Car 54 Where Are You included Nipsey Russell, Alice Ghostly, Charlotte Ray, Al Lewis, and Paul Reed. 
Many of these people went on to be stars and known for other things, but Car 54 took plenty of advantage of its ensemble cast, and it's fun to look back to see all the people amongst the cast who became bigger stars. Besides the comedic relationship and warm friendship between its main characters, Car 54 was also notable for its realistic depictions of characters from different ethnic backgrounds. A pretty big deal was made of Gunther and Francis's respective faiths, with Gunther being Jewish and Francis being an Irish Catholic. Religion wasn't dealt with much on television at the point that it came on the air, so putting an emphasis on its main characters' faith helped the show relate to audience members. Another thing that gave it a unique character, compared to other sitcoms from the time, was the fact that creator Nat Hyken insisted the show be filmed on location in the Bronx. This ended up giving the series some palpable color, even though the show was shot in black and white. The black and white shooting also allowed for the creative staff to paint its police cars different colors so as not to freak out passerbys in the Bronx who might be fooled into believing they were real police cars. Why Car 54 Where Are You Got Cancelled In addition to the fact that it never found much of an audience during its initial airing, another reason for the show's doomed fate was the fact that it was somewhat controversial. Many critics and audience members found the show's depiction of authority figures to be in bad taste. Of course, the fact that Car 54 made fun of police officers is something that wouldn't be considered nearly as taboo nowadays. There was even one police precinct in Chicago that was inspired to pull its own Car 54 out of use for fear of being made fun of. Car 54 was canceled in 1963 after only two seasons. Creator Nat Hyken never had another successful series after The Phil Silver Show and passed away in 1968. Fred Gwynn, who played the character of Francis Muldoon, would later become better known for playing the character of Herman Munster on The Munsters. Another Car 54 alum who received a notable role on that classic show was Al Lewis, who played the character of Grandpa. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character from Car 54? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the Join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So, if you want exclusive content from Faxverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the Join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members-only videos waiting for you, with new videos added every month.